Um, I honestly just think it's, I'm enjoying myself at the moment, enjoying my football. And yeah, I've always known I'm kind of at my best when I am enjoying myself. And I think, yeah, we don't get many opportunities to play on home soil. So just want to enjoy every moment of that and yeah, make the most of every opportunity. Kurt, with that second half, you really just ran over the top of the Swedes. They couldn't make love on you. What went so right in the second 45? Yeah, I think we finished the first half, the last 15 minutes off very strong. And I think we, Tony pointed out that we had to come out um, just as strong because they were going to lift it um, another level. And yeah, I think we just wanted to keep that momentum um, going into the second half. And yeah, I think we just kind of got on top of them a little bit more and dictated play and controlled the play. And yeah, that's what we want to do to teams. Stats have come out on Twitter that this is the Matilda's biggest ever win over top five opposition. Back to back wins over top 20 opposition now. Are you feeling like you're going in the right direction before a home World Cup? Yeah, I think so. I think it's all about for us feeling good. And I think, yeah, coming off the back of those two wins, um, we wanted to keep that momentum into this one. And yeah, we do feel good. And um, I think we're playing the style of play that we want to play and we want to be aggressive and yeah, we want to take it to teams no matter who they are. And I think that's what we did to today and the result showed for that. Yeah, I've sort of touched it before. You are playing more centrally, I know at Clubland as well, but for the Matildas the past few games, what, what's working for you in terms of in terms of that shift maybe from a wider role? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm on the ball a bit more and I think, yeah, I don't actually know. Um, I just want to do whatever my role is for the team. And um, I think being central, obviously, find the ball a bit more in front of goal and more opportunities to shoot and to, to link up with Sam as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. But no matter where I'm needed for the team, I'll obviously do the best I can. We'll grab two more questions for Caitlin. So we go. Um, you said you're enjoying it more. I just put it down to have an off season. <laughs> I think having time away from the game, having time to refresh and to miss the game a bit. Um, I think that's what I've needed. It's been so many years back and forward and not really having that time to to just settle down and to, yeah, like I said, miss the game. And I think that's for a lot of us as well. And making that move to England um, has given us the opportunity to do that. Um, but on top of that, being at a club like Arsenal, obviously the level um, that I'm training in day in, day out and the demand to have to perform or otherwise, you know, in a squad like that, surrounded by so many great players, if you're not informed, you'll be on the bench. So yeah, it's just the demand to keep that in week in, week out. Final question for Caitlin. Yeah, I guess as well, looking at, um, you wanted to bring that in from Cobbland into the Matildas. I mean, when you set that goal, No, I mean, I just want to do my role for the team. And I think, yeah, like I said, to have to perform week in, week out. Um, obviously, that carries over into the national team as well. It's a very competitive squad. And um, we have so many great players here as well. And yeah, it's, you want to keep your spot and obviously do our role for the team. And mine is to create and score goals. So I've just really tried to do that. Thanks so much, Caitlin, for two goals for today's match. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you should have picked your yeah. stick um, Tony, was that the most complete performance the Matildas have put in when you look at the opposition, the intensity from go to way, the way you ran over in the second half? Is that up there in terms of the most complete performances the Matildas have put in in, in the time you've been in Not over 90 minutes. I think we struggled for 30 minutes in the first half and we're lucky not to be down 1-0. Um, I think we started off the game very good the first five minutes, uh, pressed high, aggressive, could have scored them on the first attack. And after that, I think we got way too stretched and passive in our defending. They played through us, they played around us, and we could have been 1-0 down. Like Caitlin said, we did the tactical adjustment 50 minutes left of the first half. That worked out well, so we finished off really well. And I have to credit the players, it's not easy to 
send tactical changes onto the field during the game. Normally it takes the half time, but it's something we've worked really, really hard for for a long time to be a flexible team and a tactical team and work with game management. And I think they took that on board bravely and, and good. And then in half time, we, we chose some videos of what was good in the second half and said we need to do it over the whole period now. And I think the second half was one of the better half that we have played against the top opposition. Uh, but I have to say our first half against Canada was equally as good. Um, Yeah, so first of all, I want to be clear that our identity is always going to be the same, and formation is just a tool to be able to do what we want to do, press and attack. Um, and I didn't think our press had the bite that we wanted, so we did a little adjustment and went from more of a, sorry to talk positions here, but more from a 4-2-3-1 to more 4-4-2, when we brought Vine and Russell lower down the field and flatten out uh, Caitlin and, and Sam, because Caitlin and Sam are so freaking good at cutting off passing channels and know when to press. And when they, when they were staggered, we had too much space in the inside pocket and we didn't read the triggers well enough, so they played right through us. We had practiced how to do it, but we didn't execute it well enough. So, so we did that tactical change and, and it worked well today. So in terms of the second half, when you that, how much did Sam's goal really change the game? Because obviously the Swedes have to come out and chase the game and have to, uh, in the second half, which you know that talked about. Yeah. How much did Sam's goal really change the entire game? I think you're onto something very interesting now, and there's some, you know me always talk about stats, sorry for that, but there's some, some research out there as well in terms of the first goal and what it does to result in percentage-wise, how many games you win. And, and the first goal in international football, especially the tournament, is massive. It's just massive. And like I said, we could have been down 1-0, and I think it might have been a different game. So am I happy with this performance? Yes, but I'm not over the moon. I'm very humble about where we are, and, and you know, this was one game, and also, talked to by an analyst after the game about the, the stats, and it was a very equal game, if you look at the stats. The thing that really stood out is that we were clinical in the final third. Our final passes and our finishing was much better than, than Sweden, and that's why we won the game. Can you talk about Canada and and her form at the moment? And I guess you've been with the group for a while, and you've seen her passes in Arsenal and now Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, uh, let's rewind a little bit. And I know I was pretty hard criticized for this uh, when I uh, let a lot of players have the Zoom window off. Um, together with my experts, my, my staff, my support staff, they showed me a review about where the players were. And a lot of them were, were very close to being fatigued and, and getting injured and, and burned out. And they hadn't had an off season for years, like Caitlin said. And we said, we need to give them time off. It might cost us in the short run but in the long run, it's going to help us. Um, and I think her having that mental and physical break and then get a preseason, getting up and starting, and then being in an environment, like we talked about, I think it was yesterday, that how important is what they do in club. Like 95% or 90 of what they do, is meaning development, is in clubs. And then they bring it in here, and we will lend them from the clubs for nine days and try to put the pieces together and do the best we, we can. Um, but the other thing is, I think, with Caitlin as well, is she's working very hard every day to get one day better. Like that goal that she scored for second, for example, when she bends it back post, I can show you 10 or 15 exact same clips from training this week when we work position-specific finishing and how we want to... And I think I need to take some ownership as well in terms of the process with this team. Sometimes when we don't perform well, it can be that I haven't learned enough about players I think I said that to you early on, that I'm going to build this team on the players' qualities. I'm not going to say, hey, here's what we're going to play, and I'm going to try to fit you into my system. And sometimes as a national team, when you have so little time with them, it can look like a year, but really that's 10 to 12 training sessions. And to get to know the nuances of the players and how can you use them best, Caitlin, I think, was used good in the Olympics when we played 3-4-3. She came inside close to, close to Sam. When I changed to a 4-3-3, and she plays wider in that left wing, she has bigger distances to the 9 and 10 hasn't been as influenced. And that's one of the reasons why we, we changed to rotate the left side when she plays left wing, she should come in or now play as a 10. So that was a long answer, but it's so many pieces in, into this process that sometimes it's very complicated. Sometimes you get it right and sometimes you get it wrong. And then final two questions. Um, sorry. And then Yeah, 
Yeah, we actually spoke about that with the team before to, to look at this as a rehearsal when it comes to connecting with the fans and get that vibe and energy and and also be true to who we are. And that's actually the last thing we said in the locker room in the second half, considering what happened against Canada. They could have been scarred mentally, be a little bit scared, hey, let, not again kind of thing, that thought. We said, we're going to go for 2-0. Two, two that, that's who we are, we're going to be brave, we're going to press, we're going to attack, and we're going to go for 2-0 instead of just trying to close out the game. And I did similar against Canada, and it didn't work. And, and someone said, why didn't you park the bus and just close out the game? And, and this time it, it did work. So, and, and in that sense, the. Um, the crowd carries us through that uh, second half as well. You can see how much the players enjoy the vibe out there. Final question. We were talking a little bit yesterday about the combinations and how you wanted to see how they went. So I'd love some thoughts on a couple of specific ones. So Poggy Horn and Chapman as the centre back pairing, um, Gorry and Cooney Cross as the midfield. They've had a couple of games together now, and obviously Ford and Kerr up top have been sensational. So how have you seen their combinations and what they're actually providing? For this uh, I, I think you're spot on in terms of how we won the game. The spine uh, in the team was that, uh, the part that won us the game today. Not that the other ones wasn't important, but how Steph and, and, and Polk's play was, was amazing. Uh, I don't like to move Steph to centre-back, I'm going to be honest, because the way we played her in, in almost like a Cancela role, to be a 10 or like a free play on that left side, and she's one of our best final passers as well. But the situation we have with Alana not available and Ivy not available, she's been sick three days this camp, so we couldn't start her. We said, OK, what's best for this game? And we know that Sweden always defend lopsided, meaning they steer everything to opponent's left centre-back. So we wanted to have a quarterback there in terms of Steph. And I think she was phenomenal on the ball, but also impressively defensively, like she's been in Arsenal. Centre midfield, we wanted to have continuity from last camp, because I think Minnie and Kyra has been phenomenal together. The way they understand together, and I actually want to credit both, I said it before, KK and Mini is one of the reasons why Kyra is playing good. And also Clubland, the, the work she's done in, in Hammarby, and she has matured as well. Um, and I think Mini is actually involved in three of the four goals. Uh, the first goal is like 12 passes from the build up. Mini is the engine in the heart of it. We score, Mini blocks the shot in transition, and then she plays the long diagonal to 3 0. Like Mini is the, the heart and the engine in the team. And then if you look at Sam and Caitlin, we know from experience that that's not based on what I've done. It's just their connection. They, they understand each other in and out, both defensively and attacking. Just, just injury, sorry, yeah. Anne. It's okay. Alex Judy out, out today. Is she going to be okay to play for Thailand? We really hope so. And one of the reasons why she was ruled out is that uh, it was a big risk to play today. She was one of those that got a knock yesterday in the training. And if she rests today and tomorrow, they have big hopes that if she can train fully on Monday, she's available for Tuesday. Mm -hmm. No, she's actually, it looks really good with her. The, the, the problem is that when, when you've been sick like that, you need to be careful with minutes because, you know, there's an injury risk there. So the medical team said max 50 minutes today. Uh, was, I'm glad that we got him on the park because I think she's been good as well. And coming on the park and, and do that game management when we closed out the game with the same shape as we played in Olympics also shows some tactical flexibility there.